He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Everyone panics. The police look like they've seen a 900-foot goblin. Uh, it, it's just a nation. Uh, uh, you know, there's a backfire in D.C. They lock down the Capitol. Men with guns come in and order congressmen out. The security system is doing the same thing 3,000 years ago that the Chinese ruling dynasty had done to them by their security staff. Oh, you've got to be behind this walled area of the city where you're safe. You can't ever go out. Oh, you've got to have your feet bound because you're so pretty, you're not allowed to walk. You've got to be carried. Oh, you can't cut your fingernails because that would mean you were feeding yourself. And then the true ruling elite developed as the bureaucracy. Most power is behind the throne. And now the police say, hey, a Volkswagen backfired. Get on the ground, Congressman. You know, there's videos of Congressman not running fast enough and SWAT teams are, get out of here. Ooh, I'm running everything now. I work for the Federal Reserve. Of course, they don't even know that. All over the country, my cameraman will be in Kansas City, half a mile away from the Federal Reserve at a city park filming it from a distance and guys show up, private security guards off their jurisdiction with guns, hands on guns. You've seen the video on YouTube. Kansas City Star said it was pretty good. They said, yeah. Kansas City Star reporter called me up and said, kind of, what's wrong with that? What were they doing at the park? But, and, and then they called the Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve said, we never even did that. We know nothing about it. All over the country, they do the same thing. You've got video of it, and the news just says it doesn't exist. This basically what ended up happening. I see articles every week about the film New World Order. Made for IFC, where it shows us at Bilderberg, shows the black limousine, shows the Secret Service talking into their wrist, the dark sunglasses. And I saw what the Olympian newspaper out of Washington State uh, last week just said, I'm completely delusional. I was imagining cars following me, imagining this meeting. Psychology Today said that. It, it doesn't matter if it's all admitted. It doesn't matter if Rick Perry's in the Dallas Morning News admitting he goes. They just go, doesn't exist. And it's their little funny game. They know full well it exists, like Winston Smith in 1984. They think it's cute. They think it's funny. I mean, what do these yuppies think is funny? They think it's funny playing mind games with people. Going, there's no world government, Alex, you're ill. But I have hundreds of articles this week calling for world government. The banks, we're going to pay our taxes to them. And you, you went to the doctor for that? Hey, look at the drug insert for this vaccine. It says causes cancer, sterilizes you, has mercury in it. It doesn't have mercury, Alex. Why do you feel you need to make that up? No, I have the drug insert. You can get one at Walgreens. I'm Alex, you're ill. They know full well. They're into the power. They're into the mind game. They like writing articles lying to their readers. They they get off on it. It's a power trip. I get off on telling the truth. I get off on a bully starting to fight with me and breaking their nose. I get off on helping old ladies across the street. I get off on telling the truth. I get off on having courage. I enjoy being virtuous. Doesn't mean I'm perfect, but I enjoy wanting to be good. And these people see that as weak. They think it's funny. And they wreck society. And they always squeal like bloody murder. When the system they've conjured up, the tyranny they've risen through their evil actions out of the pit of hell that they've conjured, when it's tearing them apart, they squeal like little pigs. 
All right, I'm going to shut up and get into the other news, and then George Washington 